On March 24, 1957, a fan trip was run from Oakland to Fresno, sponsored by the California-Nevada Railroad Historical Society, and was dubbed the Fresno Flyer. The trip out of the Bay Area was a circle tour of the Valley Main Lines of the SP and ran via the West Side Line to Fresno before returning via Merced. Power for the train was GS4-4443, and here we see the fan trip leaving the Oakland Mole. Uh. 4443 rolls down 1st Street in Oakland, which is now known today as Jack London Square. After entering Niles Canyon, the GS-4 rolls over the bridge at Farwell. We see the train coming into Sonol from trackside and roadside in this rumbai and pacing sequence. through Livermore we see the safety valves lift on the GS4 as the train enters Altamont Pass. train rolls into the siding at Altamont where the passengers will get off for a photo run by.
everyone rushes back to board the train to continue their trip down into the valley. Forty four forty three was built by the Lima Locomotive Works in nineteen forty one for Southern Pacific trains ninety eight and ninety nine from San Francisco to Los Angeles, dubbed the Coast Daylight, which was the SP's premier passenger train. After being bumped from its daylight assignment by diesels in nineteen fifty five, the engine found a home in the valley on the San Joaquin Daylight as well as working the San Francisco Peninsula commute service. Before the engine's date with fate with the cutter's torch, it had two moments of glory in nineteen fifty. 57, with this fan trip to Fresno as well as starring in the Hollywood movie Pal Joey starring Frank Sinatra and Kim Novak. fan trip rolls into the yard at Tracy for a water stop. Number 54, the Sacramento Daylight, arrives into Tracy while the 4443 is being serviced. With its servicing complete, the majestic GS4 leaves Tracy to continue its run down to Fresno. Passengers have detrained again and the 4443 reverses for another photo run by splitting searchlights just north of Patterson. And here we see the classic run by staple of a steam excursion in the 1950s, running with that oil valve wide open to create as much black smoke as possible. After the run by, the 4443 is seen racing past the depot at Patterson. Now at Fresno, we see everybody clamoring about the 4443 with its safety valve lifted. The 
4443 uncouples from the consist to begin the switching chores to get the train turned around to head back to Oakland. view of the 4443 on the Fresno Flyer is at Berenda during a photo run by where again they are running heavy on the oil. the 4443 was retired and scrapped in 1958, luckily another GS4 has survived. Number 4449 was donated to the city of Portland, Oregon and was restored to pull the American Freedom Train from 1975 to 1976. It was restored to its original daylight colors in 1981 and today is at the Oregon Rail Heritage Center in Portland, Oregon. Now having been in operation and preservation for well over 40 years, this engine continues on the legacy of Southern Pacific's legendary daylights.